Peace and blessings of Allah be upon you, our highly respected viewers. You are welcome to the Education Committee Tutorials organized by Muslim Student Society of Nigeria, Kano University of Science and Technology, Woodell Branch. Okay, now example one. Find the twelfth term of the AFI. Two, five, eight. So in, in this case, we are to find the twelfth term of this AP, two, five, and eight. Look at it. We are given only three terms. So the next thing is, we just want to see the twelfth term. That is given. This we are going to use the formula, which says T n is equals to a plus n minus one d. By recalling, now let's collect our data. A, this A here is the first term. What is the first term? 2 is the first term here. Then uh, N, number of term. What number of term we are asked to find? The 12th term. So this means that our N is 12. Then D, D is the common difference. If you recall, is the next minus previous term, which is equals to 3. Now, the 12th term, T and that is T of 12, 12 term is equals to A, which is 2, plus N. Our N is 12 minus 1, and D is 3. It means this one multiplied by 3. This is equal to 2 plus 12 minus 1 is 11, multiplied by 3. And this is equal to 2 plus 3 multiplied by this, 33, which is equal to... 35. So 35 is the 12th term of this circumstance. Please, uh, for your information, when solving something like this, you cannot add 2 and 11 while 11 is multiplying 3. So we have to open the bracket, multiply this by this, then the next thing you add it by your e. Uh, the, after this one, let's see another example. Maybe example two. It says, uh, find the number of terms whose So the next example says, if the third and sixth, yeah, the sixth term of an AP are six and twelve, respectively, find its common difference and first term. So in this type of example, we are given two things. That is the third and what sixth term. So we need to be specify like this. The third term is equal to. It says it's called six, and the twelfth is the sixth term is equals to twelve. Still with the help of our n formula, T n is equals to a plus n minus one d. I mean this one, we know third term means t of three. And when we say three of three, we mean our n here is three. So this is equals to a plus three minus one d. But from the question it says third term is six. So therefore our t of three is equal to six. I'll remove this two of three, I'll put six, which is equal to a plus this minus this, two d, I may call this equation one. And for the second one, which is six term, it means c of t of six, which is equal to a plus n is six here. 
because it's six term minus one d. And our six term is 12. 12 is equals to a plus five d, which is equation two. So for way to solve, we need to solve equation one and two simultaneously. Now let's solve one and two. Solve two and one. Our equation two here is 12, which is equals to a plus five d. Equation one here is um, six, which is equals to a plus two d. The next thing is just to subtract equation two and one. Six minus this, we're going to have six, which is equals to a minus a, it will go. Five d minus two d, we're going to have three d. Now dividing through by three, we have six, is, d is equals to six over three, which is equal to two. This implies our common difference is two. So to get the first term, we put d is equal to two in either equation one or equation two, anyway. So I'm going to have six, which is equal to a plus 2d, our d is uh, 2, which we have 6 is equals to a plus 4. At last, a is going to be 6 minus 4, which is equals to 2. Hence, first term is equal to 2 also. So the common difference is 2, while the first term is 2. So the next thing is sum of a phi. sum of an AP. The sum of AP is also a formula. That is to find the sum of uh, some a arithmetic series up to a given term. The formula is given by SN, that is sum of the term of AP, which is equal to n over 2, all into 2a plus n minus 1d. So this formula in finding the sum of an a. So let's see if maybe we are asked to find the sum, find the sum of um, 1, 4, 7, 10, of 2. I mean for plus since it is sum of 2 of the sixth term. Whenever a question, a question comes like this, find the sum and the terms, there is even plus in the terms. When you see it like this, it means you are going to sum this up to the given term. How many terms we are given here? One, two, three, four. But we are to sum up to the sixth term, not fourth term. So for it, the sum is simple. Just make use of your formula. As usual, the A, that's the term that comes first, which is 1. Your D, previous minus next, which is equals to 3. And N, which is the number of term we are asked to sum, which is 6. So having this, we have sum of 6, which is equals to N, and our N is 6, over 2, into 2A. Two our A is 1, plus N minus 1 d is 3. So having this one, just simplify 6 by this 3, 2, plus 6 minus this 5, 5 plus 5 times 3, we have 15. So the next one is just to plus, to plus inside, that is 2 plus this is 17, and at last we multiply 3 times 17, which we have 51. So the next thing after this is 